Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss arithmetic circuit. Now, all the arithmetic macro operations we had discussed separately. That is binary adder, binary incrementer, binary adder subtractor. So now we want to design such a circuit using which we can combine all these operations and it can be performed using one circuit. So we do not need to implement them separately. So for doing this, we require full adders and we will be putting them in parallel. So we require some parallel adders and by controlling the input data inputs to this parallel adders, we would be getting different arithmetic micro operations and the formula for implementing that micro operations is depending on D is equals to A plus Y plus C in. Now where A is a fixed input but this y is multiplexed input. So based on changing the value of y, we would be getting different outputs. So different arithmetic micro operations. Now let's implement the circuit so it would be clear how this y operates and we would be getting different outputs. Okay, so 4 bit arithmetic circuit. For that we require 4 full adders. Now if you want to make n bit arithmetic circuits, we require n full adders. Over here we are requiring 4 full adder circuits. And as per the design of full adders, we require 3 inputs to in individual full adders. So the first input that is x is given as our a. As you can see, a0 is given to x0, a1 is given to x1 and similarly a2 and a3. So first input for the full adder is defined. Okay. Now the second input we are having that is y. But before discussing y, let us go for discussing c0 that is carry input c0. Now carry we are inputting to be c in as per our formula d is equals to a plus y plus c in. a is defined, c in is also defined and the output of this full adder that is c1 would be propagated to the next full adder and so on. Furthermore, all the carries would be propagated and we would be getting the output carry that is c out. Now let us discuss for this y, input y. Now y is a multiplexed input. So for that we require multiplexers. A 4 cross 1 multiplexer we are taking. Now 4 cross 1 multiplexer means we require two select lines. So S1 and S0. So two select lines and now we are required to give the input to be four inputs. So zeroth input we are directly providing it to be B. So B0, B1, B2 and B3. Now first line we are giving the input to be complement of B. That is B dash. So complemented. So B0 dash, B1 dash, B2 dash and B3 dash. So the first line input is the complement of B. Then the second line we are providing the value 0, hard coded value 0. And the third line to the multiplexers, we would be connecting it with 1, hard code value 1. So you can see, repeating the inputs again, 0 is connected with B, 1 is connected with B complement, 2 is connected with 0 and 3 is connected with 1. And the output of this multiplexer is given as an input to the full adder input Y. So you can see. So from the output of multiplexer, it is given as an input to the full adder y0, y1, y2 and y3. And the output of this full adder which we are terming it to be d. So d0 bit, d1, d2 and d3. So this is our 4 bit arithmetic circuit. Now we are supposed to see the working of it, how it works. So let us take an example. Let us take the value of s1 and s0 to be 1, 0 respectively. So s1 is 1, s0 is 0. So you know the working of multiplexer. So if if we discuss about this, then then as per this S1 and S0 to be 1, 0, the second line would be in uh, selected from the multiplexer because 1, 0, so corresponding decimal value would be 2. And on the line input 2, we are having value input provided to be 0. So the output from multiplexer would be 0, as you can see. So output from this multiplexer would be 0 over here. But along with that one more input we need to check out that is C in which we have provided to be 1. As you can see C in is provided to be 1. So as per the formula D equals to A plus Y plus C in what is the input? How A is fixed. So A plus 
y now y all bits are zero so zero so a plus zero and c in is one so a plus zero plus one so can we say it is simply a plus one and a plus 1 means it is nothing but our simple increment operation so the content of a would be incremented by 1 and this is what is our increment micro operation so using this circuit by providing the select lines and c in we can get different operations let's discuss one more operation but before discussing that operation we need to discuss something that is decrement operation decrement using two's complement now in that case let us take an example the number is 1101 and we want to decrement it by 1. So you basic by binary rules we are knowing that it would be 1100 0, 0. so 1 minus 1 so it is 0 and rest bits are 110 0, so 1100. 0, 0. So this is our normal arithmetic operation but what we want to do is using 2's complement. So for performing it using 2's complement we need to take the 2's complement of this bit 1. So this first number remains as it is and the 2's complement of this one becomes 1 1 1 1 because we are having 4 bits so we need to arrange them in 4 bits and we need to take the 2's complement and 2's complement you all are knowing it is 1 complement plus 1. So now after taking 2's complement we would be performing the addition. So after performing the addition what it would be 1 plus 1 so 0 carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 so 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 carry 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 1 and carry 1 but as per the decrement using 2's complement or subtraction using 2's complement method if carry is generated we need to discard that carry so what with the remaining result is 1 1 0 0 so which is our normal required decrement operation now as per our formula d equals to a plus y plus c in if we want to perform decrement operation what we now give as an input so a is fixed so d equals to a which is fixed as you can see d equals to a which is fixed plus y should be given as all four bits to be one from this math in example as you can see one 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 so we need to provide all four inputs to be one and plus over here the carry we have not provided that means it is to be considered to be zero so carry c in is zero so now you are clear about how to implement this in our example now one 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 y so that means from all multiplexers we require one over here so which line should be selected from the multiplexer line 3 because line 3 gives 1 as an input so if you want to select line 3 from multiplexer we need to give input s1 and s0 to be 1 1 and c in we have decided to be given as 0 so 0 now as s1 and s0 are 1 1 our line 1 would be selected and we would be getting the output y to be 1 over here and all four bits one c in zero the output of the full header would be a decrement operation so the content of a would be decremented by one so this is how various operations takes place in this particular four bit arithmetic circuits now let us list them out so the arithmetic circuit function says by changing different inputs s1, s0 and c in we would be getting different y and based on the formula d equals to y a plus y plus c in we would be getting different micro operations. So if it is 0, 0, 0 then y would be b and our normal addition operation will take place. So if we provide another combination 0, 0, 1 it would be add with carry. If it is 0, 1, 0 then it would be a plus b dash so it would be subtract with borrow. If it is 0, 1, 1, so D is equals to A plus B complement plus 1, so it is our normal subtract operation. Because we know that for performing subtract operation, A minus B, so we need to take 2's complement of B, so it becomes A plus B complement plus 1, so it is subtract. Then next we can have a transfer operation, then we can have increment operation, then decrement operation and transfer A again. So this is what is the function table for our 4-bit arithmetic circuit. Now you can also design n-bit arithmetic circuit by using n full headers and n multiplexers. So this is about 4-bit arithmetic circuit.